In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to get started with Sketchpad. So Sketchpad is a digital Sketchpad workbook that you can use to create digitally drawn designs and then save them and share them online. To begin, let's go ahead by covering the different tools in the toolbar. Starting here, we have the Select Tool, which allows you to drag your cursor over a given set of designs and allows you to select them and edit them, delete them, copy paste them, and so forth. Next up is the Crop and Resize tool. You can set a given size in pixels or change your unit in inches, perhaps, and crop from there, or you can just click, drag, and apply the crop. Next up, we have the Line tool. This is more than just the Line tool, however, but when you click on it, it's going to probably default to the Line tool. If you click on this line here, you're going to be able to open up the different tools within this given tool. So you can see everything from calligraphy to pencil to arrows, path, crayon, stamps, fur even, and so much more. So go ahead and explore those. There's a lot of really cool tools in here. Depending on the selected tool, you can also change how that paint or sketch is being put on your canvas. So if you're familiar with different overlay options, you can click on the default as normal, but if you click on it, you're going to be allowed these different options here. So go ahead and explore those. You can set your fill color. Right now it's going to be default as transparent, but you can change that color. As you can see, our fill is now a blue. You can change the outline color. If I wanted to change it to a darker blue, I can do that. You can see that there. You can adjust the line width and the amount of spread. You can preview it for depending on the tool that you're using. Now let's take a look at this next tool and it's going to default to star. This essentially is a shape tool, so it's going to allow you to select a shape by clicking right here and then selecting your shape. There's an example of that. There's going to be a default fill. You can change if you wanted a solid color, a linear gradient, radial gradient, or a pattern. You can select a pattern there. Again, with our outline, line width, sides, coils, spread, and depending on what shape of it it is, of course, there are going to be different settings. Now let's take a look at the clip art. You can either load your own image in, or you can click here to choose a graphic. You can also search for graphics. So if I wanted to find dog, I could search for dog, and that would allow me to add a dog and use it like a sticker. Like with all the other tools, you can adjust, in this case, the opacity or the overlay setting. So there we can see it's an example of an overlay setting. Next up we have the text tool which is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to be allowed to choose your fonts, your fills, your text features, line width, word spacing, and so forth. So a lot of options there. If you want to move any of your designs around you would go back up to that select tool, click it, and it allows you to click, drag, and move and also transform or adjust the shape and size of a given design. Finally here we have a vector fill. So this is going to allow you essentially function as a paint bucket, um, which you can see here. We can click and essentially paint inside of fill spaces. As you saw, I just adjusted my text color as well. And those are the basic tools. Now let's take a look at these tools down here in the toolbar. Here we have new, which allows us to create a new canvas in our sketch pad. So you can see there are some various options. You can also set your size. This button here allows you to open any saved designs. You can also allow Sketchpad directly to link up to your Google Drive. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. The export option allows you to export your design. You can choose what format you want to export it in, whether it's JPEG, PNG, PDF, so forth. You can also share using that share option. There are some different settings there. Next up, we have the settings, and this is where you can go ahead and choose your autosave. So if you're going to store files in Google Drive and automatically have them sync there, 
you can enable that and allow that to connect to your Google Drive. You can enable autosave and a lot of other options here. Finally, there is the user guide button, which allows you to access different tutorials and additional information on how to use tools and overall just the platform in general. Now that you're familiar with the basic tools of Sketchpad or Sketch.io, go ahead and create your own creations using this digital drawing tool.